you know, you've been on a real positive hype. What, 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 what was the uh, reasoning? For, have it always been that way, or this was just something that you know you just you you had to change? You know, it's never. It, it, it's definitely something I had to change. You know, like because that's why I feel so passionately. You feel me? Because like I've been on the side. Cause I'm not a thug. I'm not the hardest thug. You feel me? It's people way that. And now I say like people aren't. Nobody's born a thug. Now the thing I feel for people. Cause like I listened to the sickness messy Mark interview, and it made me respect messy. Cause I always used to be like, man, why does messy flash on people? Because you feel me, I'm like, hey, man, I love you, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? And I'm in the streets, too. I look at a killer in his eye. I look at a, you know what I'm saying, anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't put my work in. You know what I'm saying? From the, anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, if I go to the pen, I'm going to start up the click, and I'm going to be respected. If I'm out here, I'm going to be respected, and I'm going to be loved. You feel me? I'm going to spread the love anywhere. But I'm saying, like, I was listening to Mess, and Mess was like, I never heard my mama say she loved me until a certain type of age. And like, that hit me, bruh, and that touched my heart. Because like, people, you, you don't know some people be judging, oh, mess, blah, blah, blah. You say mess me like this, blah, blah, blah. People love mess too. It ain't all just that. People, everybody pay homage to mess. I'm saying some people had their little shit they've been trying to say about mess and all, oh, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, <laughs> you gotta, before you speak on a person, you gotta, how do they get to where they at? What do they go through? Motherfuckers be forgetting mess struggle story. Everybody only look at mess now. Oh, mess got cheese. Mess got paper. But what did mess have to do? Like all, all, all that struggle that he went through. People hear it through the music. People hear it through the, you feel me? Like just through the speakers and they hear the story. You know what I'm saying? Like that hurt me. That hurt me with the Queen and mess beat. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't soft out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that is what it is. I mean, like, y'all you know, even had a difference. Not to cut you off, but... E exactly, though. No, exactly. 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 But, and, and that's the thing, too, like, but the thing is, I knew where me and Matt's difference came from. You feel me? Like, that was some other... You feel me? Like, I, it wasn't the time for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, and Matt felt a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that. You feel me? Like... A lot of, you know, especially like when you're young and, and, and like, you know, because with me, it was like, you know, pretty much it was a homage situation. Like, Mess uh, was like, man, you need to pay homage, you know what I'm saying? And and it and I wasn't responding accordingly, you know what I'm saying? And I understand that, because at the and that just at the time, like, when you pay your dudes, bro, like, when you, when you mess them, like, you that dude up here, because people got to pay homage to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what Mess talks about. That's why it's like when somebody don't respond accordingly, it's like, oh fuck you then. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I I gave you some. I gave you my respect. You feel me? Like me co-signing you, getting on that pretty bitch remix. You know what I'm saying? That show. You know what I'm saying? That the gutter fuck with you too. OG gutter. You feel me? So Mess put me on in different ways too. That's why I salute it. Like niggas can't never discredit anything from mess, you know what I'm saying, like, even with the Filthy Rich mess beat, it's like, that Filthy Rich mess mixtape helped Filthy, you know what I'm saying, because mess got his respect and hold his way. Also, Filthy hold his own way, too, you feel me? Filthy doing his thing, I feel like Filthy one of the hottest in the Bay right now, you know what I'm saying, and there's a lot of other uh, hot, hot rappers in the Bay, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying, I ain't knocking nobody, I want people to get the check, Lil Debbie, Keep going, you know what I'm saying. You doing your thing, female rapper. I just heard of this other uh, female rapper. She's doing her thing right now. Ashley all day. I've been hearing about her. But Trey Sean, keep pushing. You doing your thing. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Kiwi the Beast, live wise. Man, come on, baby. I see you. <laughs> Kiwi, yeah, gassing. Kiwi the Beast, do your thing. Keep going. You know what I'm saying. Like for real, I'm rocking with you. Like like V Nasty, I'm rocking with you. Like keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Like, gutter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gutter. People that keep, you know, don't, you know, as long as you're trying to salute it and you're trying to salute hip-hop and you really fucking with us, you feel me? It's good. You know, we salute it. Don't let the streets, you know what I'm saying? Because I see, and this is what I see, like, and it hurts me sometimes because, like, you know, in the Bay Area, this is what we involved with. It's so much dirty money, so much corruption out here. You feel me? 
Like, I be seeing a lot of my brothers get trapped in the game that's pimping, that's drugging, that cocaine snorting, that real beating up on the bitches lifestyle. You see me getting money out the hole, real ten toes down type shit. And this is where we come from. But I'm going to tell y'all, I love y'all, my brothers, and we need to respect each other and have a balance. You feel me? It needs to be a balance of love, too. And it got to be a balance. And we got to show the kids, because it hurt me when I'm in East Oakland. You feel me? And they selling pussy right next to the school. Mm. You feel me? And I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there looking at the hoes, too. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I know that this, 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 this girl that I call a hoe, or this person that I call a hoe, they have a, they have a painful story or a story behind them in general. You feel me? And that's, that, that might have been my auntie 10 years ago. It could have been my mama 10 years ago. You don't know them stories. Mm -hmm. They don't tell us them stories. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't tell us them stories. That's why <laughs> all y'all dudes that's listening to this interview, all my West Coast brothers, all my, you know what I'm saying, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might have 10 bras on your roll, you feel me, that's paying you. And best believe that they, your phone tap, you know, they working on writing that book on you, you know what I'm saying? So you, you need to make sure you do people right, you know what I'm saying? And do people right, because, you know, I didn't got checked in the game where the broad told me she wasn't going to get pregnant. And she tried to put me on them papers, and I wasn't the daddy. You know what I'm saying? This real talk, that's why I know what it is. I didn't got burnt before. You feel me? Bitch ain't going to play with me like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling my brothers, you know, stay strong minded and don't 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 be hard on the situation. Don't you feel me? Don't big up don't don't try to get up on the bitch because she in a bad situation. That look bad on your part. Oh the bitch needs some rent. Oh the bitch is secure. Let me go try to beat up on her or pimp on her. That's weak, bruh. Help out the person. You know what I'm saying? Help out this person. You feel me? Get them Help them get to a next position. You know what I'm saying? Some people ain't good, though. Some people don't see it. You feel me? You might need to step away from them then. If the motherfucker ain't on your level, step away. If you're trying to stay positive, step away. You feel me? I need my people in the hood to be strong. You feel me? Even though you got needles and dope all around you, I need you to walk around that and go to school or go to, or, or, or go to your job. Go back home and, and find what you love. Go talk to your friends. It's okay to be outside. It's okay to be alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, face. What made me positive is I had to face some time. You know, when I was younger. Like, and this goes back to I wasn't a real thug. Like, I wasn't no thug. I was a product of my environment. My, I, you know what I'm saying? I was a, I was a short, skinny dude out there in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Berkeley to me. It's like Berkeley ain't even the most thugged out place. We got Berkeley, so that's why it's funny to me, you feel me? Because it's like, but Berkeley got people that's with the shit and that'll kill you. Though. And they dying out there too, you feel me? But it's funny because it's like, but they right, but it, but, but we right there next to college. And it's too nice to be like, like it ain't like, it ain't poverty, poverty. But also it could be poverty in the house though. Like we ain't got like Africa poverty where niggas sleeping in huts and shit. But, you know what I'm saying, it's a poverty mind state that some of the people got. You know what I'm saying? So niggas don't know the blessings. Niggas don't know how blessed we really are. Plus, niggas is dealing with shit from their parents. Niggas don't understand what their parents might have put. You feel me? Like, my niggas dreaded up. Niggas don't know what he been being through. Some niggas get dreaded up to just blend in. Some niggas got dreaded for the, for the pain. You feel me? I remember I got dreaded a long time ago. I never hit the I never hit the dread shot. Cause my shit was real. It was for the it, 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 it was for the you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you why, like I was I was a product of my environment. You feel me? I was just like I gotta survive. You feel me? Cause it's like I was like I'm not gonna be fighting niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? I was like I need to get my respect. You know what I'm saying? I was like niggas need to respect me and get ate up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I had to you feel me, I got my stripes. I was taking shit, and I was with the shit. I wasn't a nigga that was violent, but I would have, you feel me, I would have put you in that position, though. You feel me? That's how I was a fake nigga at one time. You feel me? Like, nigga would have set you up. Nigga would have, you know what I'm saying? Nigga would have hit, hit that house. Mm. Nigga would have took that car. 
nigga would have sold that, nigga would have flipped some bags. You know what I'm saying? And but I wasn't violent though. I wasn't a nigga that would have beat you up in your house or tied you up. You know what I'm saying? Or, or raped you. I'm not about that. I'm not on that type of shit. Cause I don't want that to happen to my mama. But back then when I was younger, this when I was like 15, 16, that's what I'm saying. I got capped in the game early, and I got smacked, and that's why I'm glad that I got out. So I was 15, 16, you feel me, facing like 30. Because I didn't had, I got, you know what I'm saying, nine, nine first degree felonies. You know what I'm saying? I had like nine of them. You know what I'm saying? RP my, RP my co-partner. Shout out to the NHT boy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck this violent shit, man. You know what I'm saying? My co-partner. You know what I'm saying? He ain't here. You feel me? He, he's gone. R.I.P. my brother. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Will out here. You feel me? Like, you know, motherfuckers don't understand. That's how real shit get. I got one other brother I was thugging with. He alive. He's still out. He out there around where? He, he out there doing his thing in the West. That's somebody that can vouch for me and be like, oh, yeah. Me and Brody was out there. Me and B didn't drop me off a sack from the list. For keeping it solid. I didn't drop off sacks for the lick. But that was back then. That's when I was young, bruh. That's what I'm saying. This is when I was like, and that's when I, that's when I thought something was what it is. That's why I didn't understand the rules. Like, I didn't understand that life is real, bruh. You feel me? Like, I didn't have no, like, I, you know, I didn't understand that you can get AIDS. You feel me? Like, niggas don't understand, like, you feel me? Niggas don't understand shit till you get tapped. You know what I'm saying? Until you get you feel me? And, like, that's why I'm glad I got capped early. Because, like, you feel me? I was like, okay, you can really face. I was like, I'm not trying to do that camp. Because I did almost damn near a year. I went from 150th in Oakland. All my youngins know about that. You feel me? Out there in B unit. Shout out to Max. That's when I started really rock on my Oakland, bro. You feel me? Like, that's when I was institutionalized. That's why I was like, I'm not tripping. That's why I was like, man, I kind of hope I go to the Y. I want to get buff. I want to drag it up. Fuck it, cause I was used to it. You feel me? I was in there. You know what I'm saying? Cause once you in there, you get, you know what I'm saying? I was jack. I had to, you know, pulling out bitches, jacking off the National Geographic porno, saving, <laughs> cutting up. You know what I'm saying? I was cutting out the bitches. You feel me? Bringing them back from school. You feel me? Like, you know, niggas was. I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was cool, and then like, and it was crazy, cause it was like so. I, you know, 150, you know, and and that to like my my cases was spread out. You know what I'm saying? So. I had to do some time at the 150th. That was my first time ever even being, you feel me, in a, so that was traumatizing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like a young nigga coming in, you feel me, intake. My nigga, I was like, what the fuck, bruh? You feel me? Like, that's, that's pre-jail. That's what they get you used to. That's why my brothers and my sisters that's in that system, you know, wake up, don't get used to that. We're not animals, you feel me? And don't be scared to ask for help and get that love. If your parents wasn't there, find out why you wilding out. You feel me? You, if you need to talk to somebody, if you got molested, if you got raped by one of your family members, if you got beat up by your family, if you got whooped by somebody, if you if you got stole from or something, and that shit making you wild out, you need to pinpoint on that problem. So and talk to somebody and tell it, so you won't be whooping some nigga in the streets or something because you mad about your mama. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and this was a real game because I love my brother. I I, I, I charge for this. My breath, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't. I, I'm saying this because I love y'all, and I want y'all to really listen to me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, did that? Uh, you know, so 150th. You know, B unit. I wasn't big. You feel me? And I was young, so I was like, you know, did that B unit? You know, rocking out there. You know, met a lot of Oakland brothers. You know, shout out to Frank. You know, I met like some real. Uh, you know, shout out to Papa, you know what I'm saying? People that was really feeling like, you know what I'm saying, really, uh, you know, had ties with like STI, you know what I'm saying? North Oakland dudes, you know what I'm saying? Talking about they handling grenades, you know what I'm saying? So like, we was young out there, you know, connected. Some people was lying though, you know what I'm saying? Some dudes, cause that's what I'm saying, when you in there and all you got is that color, you know, people just putting in that story. You don't know what they coming, but talking about you doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? But then there were some dudes out there that was really solid. Then it showed me, and it, it gave me strength, too, because I didn't see, you feel me, people that was my size knocked out giants. 
You feel me? At the ten, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see my, you know, and this was in Richmond, though, and I'm going to get to that. But, like, you know, that Oakland, you know, 150th, that was a, a traumatizing situation, but also it was a blessing because it taught me how to be, I can be at peace with myself. You feel me? And TTC 